Good morning, Amina. Welcome to SEO's Getting Coffee. Nice to see you this morning. How are you? Morning. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Very good. Good, good. Have you got your Ready? coffee? Yes, I do. I have a very special mug today. So I told my husband to make me a cup of coffee okay. and to choose a mug. And I am not surprised that he has chosen a mug that says With William on it <laughs> because he, I mean, talk about ego. He said that he chose the best mug. So, yeah. yeah well, go. I would, would have probably done exactly the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. I've just finished my coffee and because I've still navigating this slight cold um i'm going to be on the water today unfortunately oh, you're always you're always slacking on the coffee department i have been recently yes but coffee is just yeah. not really on the on the agenda at the moment so as i'm <laughs> on the mend um right so we did have a topic planned today um however with the amount we've changed tact and we've changed the agenda at last minute because there's been so many things going on this week in the SEO world um, that it was just we just had to talk about them, really. Um, so we've got three main things uh, today that we'll that we'll talk about. Um, and one crazy thing that we can kind of see like as a I guess it's an SEO fail that's happening in real time. Uh, so, yeah, stay stay tuned and we'll share that one uh, towards the end. But um the first thing um, I will share my screen so everybody can see and let's bring that up because at the start of the week um, the news came out that uh, Google had officially made some statements around the fact that EEAT or EAT as we like to call it in the SEO industry is not a ranking factor. So although a lot of people have often been saying that EEAT is, you know, highly likely that it's a ranking factor. Um, it's actually, you know, come out and Google have said that it's not a ranking factor. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into it and discuss it. Well, this is the thing. I don't think uh, EEAT was ever like it's semantics, really, because EEAT came out of the Rater's guidelines. Yeah. And mostly from that that's where it kind of when you're talking about seo that's where you're like pulling your information mostly about eeat is from the rater's guidelines now ranking signal no it hasn't been confirmed it's it was never like claimed that it was confirmed as a ranking signal it's not like you know well um, there have been some people there or... have been some people there have been some people no that have, no that have nobody said, said that, that it was confirmed they have there's nobody... evidence and now if everybody's backtracking have... now that google has said if they have said that they have confirmed then that's wrong they haven't confirmed like they didn't say like like uh like for example, BERT is a confirmed ranking signal, yeah? The thing is, is that just because it's not a confirmed ranking signal doesn't mean it doesn't impact basically everything. Because when you look at what EEAT is, you can understand how looking at that, that as a signal, even though it's not a confirmed one, helps you with all of the confirmed actually signals because it's all about like <clears throat> quality content which is something that google has confirmed you know like the helpful content update is one example where you could see how that correlates and connects to eeat and why eeat is a good concept to have in mind yeah, for I all think brands when we actually break it down i think it's uh you know it's itself i think you know it as as in it's a thing it's such a complex thing that you know it's like eeat being a a, a ranking signal a ranking factor you know whatever we wanted to describe it as um it's so complex and it's so multifaceted and there's so many things that go into it you know that it it would be hard obviously to to even quantify that as like a standalone kind of ranking signal anyway yeah, exactly. or whatever but I think that the the main thing really, I think, is that a lot of conversation has been around this because of that very issue is that people are finger pointing or people are saying, well, so and so said that it was and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and yeah. it kind of it always creates these kind of splitting hair moments of people that have these discussions. And then a lot of the SEO industry just gets frustrated with the conversation that goes on because, yeah. of course, the premise there, EAT, is... You know, it the premise, and if you follow those guidelines, it's a way to kind of think and to 
quantify examine. and yeah examine and, and give yourself a process and a workflow to follow for actually improving your brand or your business right in terms of how it how it and your content, is perceived and you looks, know you know and your content and your yeah. content as well you know and it's a way of kind of looking at particularly that first e in the era of of ai it's a way of kind of making sure that you are writing helpful content and that you're also <laughs> building a brand and we've seen like you know another thing that came out is the 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 lily uh, ray report and losers and winners into 2023 and you can see that brands are winning um, i mean so are like forums and like Quora and reddit and stuff but you can see that it is important to be building that brand and to to look at the eat as another way of looking at your content looking at your brand yeah um, and just I think building it, it kind of exactly and i've just brought up um i think a, a really good tweet that that came out in, in response to this was was from mark uh preston who uh, you know, basically gave, gave a, a really good summary, I thought, um, in terms of like, you know, the, the simple way to put it is that, you know, like in just this section here is that, well, E, asking yourself, is it important uh, to show your potential customers that you are experienced, right? In your, you know, is it important to show your potential customers that you're an expert? And is it important to show your potential customers that you're an authority? Is it important to show your potential customers? that you are the trusted uh, source or, or, you know, subject or topic in in your industry, right? So um, it, it's, it, of course, the answer to all of those questions for any brand or business is yes, it's important because if you can show those things and demonstrate all of those things, you are going to get more customers. And when it comes down to it, that's what we're, you know, we're trying to to do right and this is what we're, we're trying trying to achieve um is is uh with uh, you know seo is 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 to so the, you know the the eeat um you know fundamentals really is that it's yes obviously it's not a ranking factor however it doesn't necessarily mean that we can now just totally disregard it you know because it provides an excellent framework for brands and businesses to follow um in terms of appealing and, and generating yeah. inquiries and leads from potential customers and also we need to kind of uh remember that so google works on like 200 plus ranking systems and we are all expecting google because they are so transparent in a in a large way we're expecting them to kind of just tell us how to rank which is never going to happen um, and they're not transparent in everything as well. I mean, look at like all of the discussion that around whether user interaction is actually a ranking factor. There's been like, you know, back and forth, whether that that is something that, that Google kind of takes into consideration. And Google has said, no, we don't. Those are not user signals. This isn't something that we do. But but, you know, when you look at some of the kind of data that's out there and some of the even you know, the hearings that have happened in the U.S., obviously that kind of comes into question as well. You can't expect a company to just come in and say, OK, this is these are all the things that you need to do to get your content ranking. It just doesn't like work like that. And it shouldn't work like that because that can be manipulated. And we've seen it in SEO. So, no, I say, yeah, like. Whether it's a ranking system or not, whether they're saying it's not and actually it is, I don't even care. For well, me, that's it's it. a great yeah, framework. Yeah. So. You know, there's there's been uh, evidence in the past as well, of course, that, you know, when Google says something and, you know, it's it's completely opposite of what actually, you know, is the truth. And, you know, um, so, yeah, so, uh, we, you know, we, with all of those caveats involved, um, I think we can move on. Uh, and uh, the the next, because it's been such a, a crazy week in terms of announcements. And as we're recording this, you know, just not even 24 hours ago, um, <clears throat> OpenAI have just released or announced and done their press release for Sora. Or if if that's how you pronounce it, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, <laughs> just uh, taking taking a shot in the dark of that how that that is how you pronounce it. But creating video from text, and we're not going to spend too long on this this one, but it's so important just to kind of briefly touch on it because it's another massive change and another massive announcement in a week of just crazy things that have been going on. Um, so yeah, I just, I guess my initial reaction to this is that I'm completely like everybody 
I'm my mind's blown, right? I am completely mind blown. I'm it, it's crazy, right? The 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 the, the it, it's such a privilege, first of all, to be to be witnessing this kind of technological kind of innovation. But at the same time, I have a tremendous kind of uneasy feeling about how much of a risk this is. That is, yeah. Um, yeah. And it just seems to be kind of, I don't know, kind of, it, it's just it's just such a, it, it, it's almost like skimmed over. Like if you look at the safety uh, par- paragraphs, I just kind of feel as if, how one, two, three, four, five, there's five paragraphs here that talk about safety. And there's not really much here, right? It's just PR speak, right? There's not really much depth to this, but there's just so many more intricate and nuanced details that need to be considered in all of this that are just kind of like, ah, it's all right. You know, we'll just have, you know. It's glossed over. But this yeah, is it. It's, it's you know... the technological pace is... It's always like that, like we spoke about it before, you know, you kind of just let it out there and then you kind of, oh, you know, like sweep up the, the Sweep issues up the problems, after, yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem, I'm yeah, not, which is not sure why this, Not yeah, sure so why it's... this guy is running backwards, uh, running backwards on a treadmill. Um, but anyway, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> but you can also see, I mean, it's, it's the same with like AI images. Um, you know, you can see like like the video that they released as as the promo on this on like LinkedIn. You can see it's a bit like similar to a game, you know, like graphics in a game. So it's slightly better than that, but you yeah, know, if you but, look I mean, if very you compare closely, this, yeah, 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 yeah. It's there are slight then, there are slight things, telltale things. But if you compare yeah, this to say but last nobody's year, nobody's going to do that. The average person will not do that. Yeah, true, but like. If you compare this to last year and see how far it's come in just a year, it's oh, crazy. crazy the differences. You know, and I know obviously this uh, cra- crazy grandma here. Look, she's she's a, a little bit. I don't know. It's just a little bit unnatural, and I think you can definitely kind of pick up on these things, right? Um, but I think that the main thing for me, I think my my kind of key worry um, is. And I've, I, I have mentioned this in some, you know, social media posts. Really, is 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 this historical footage, right? Is that's my main concern. Um, and the historical footage, really, because these conversations, we need to delegate and kind of have these conversations with, you know, people need to be having these discussions about giving, giving the technology for people to be able to create historical footage of events in the past. Yeah. It's going to be such a manipulative tool that people can use for gain, right? And that's such a big issue and complex political issue as well that needs to be, you know, talked yeah. about and needs to be right. You know, it doesn't matter on what side or where, where it doesn't matter on on your politics or anything like that. But what matters is the truth. And yeah. if you've got, you know, people that are going to manipulate the truth or or have their own agenda and they can create historical footage to suit their purpose... That's but a it's tremendous not just risk. Historical. You know? It's it's like current affairs. And current, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's kind of like fake yeah, yeah, current, news yeah. times a thousand because a video is, you know, like it's always been accepted that you can't fake a video, which isn't true and it hasn't been true in years, yeah. you know. But now it's becoming even more untrue because the technology is there that it can, you know, like readily available really with this yeah. and yeah it's scary it, it's exciting but it's also it's really really bloody scary so yeah, yeah. and that's that's the thing i think you know it, it's you just just think about and i just think about you know how you know people we we know how people and how things and how information and people can be, be manipulated with information so you know showing and having videos of like you know, things that just don't exist and a just total disregard for the invention of photography and moving image. It just doesn't matter anymore. And it's like, you know, if, if, if these types of invent, if, if we get into a world where these types of inventions just don't matter because you have AI to just kind of present a representation of what that time was like, the, you know, the, 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 the gatekeepers to that technology can manipulate that, right? Or they can be influenced. 
and they can put things in there which are just like not true or they can put things in there which they can just make stuff up right and, and of course and it's like the same it's it's go ahead no go ahead go yeah, ahead yeah it's it's the same with like i it's it's the fake news like phenomenon yeah so yes if you put fake news out there eventually that fake news is going to be found out and people are going to start but it's gone by then like mil- with with social media with the power of social media like in a matter of <clears throat> hours that news can be everywhere and yeah. because of the scale it's very difficult to roll it back then so you might yeah. have you you know you, you know it's you see the it same... in journalism all time yeah. you know they try like and roll the... it back but it's done it's gone like the that's it the sensationalized kind of headline hits like you know yeah. 500,000 to a million people but then the correction afterwards go, reaches like 5,000 people so it's like well the damage yeah, exactly. has already been done you know yeah. and that's the that's the real difficulty i think in, in times like this is obviously obviously like you know videos or footage or evidence yeah, can arise that can make, channel, you know yeah. that can go into the hands of wrong people who make rash decisions about things and then all of a sudden it's like oh no by the way that was a fake video and it's like oh, it's too late now we already you know did something silly um so so yeah but before we go into you know this is an seo show it's not a polit- 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 political yeah, yeah. show um so th- the thing with seo creators i think that it just gives more google uh, search engines more headaches i think because creators are now going to have another tool in which they can pr- produce content right mm-hmm. um and they and you know video content of course as we know now we can see that it's only going to get uh, more advanced um and it's only you know it's, it's only going to get into a position where you know you're going to have websites that are, are using this stuff left right and center and yeah but it, it's yeah anyway let's let's move on <laughs> um the next um thing to to discuss is actually something which uh dan barker tweeted about i saw this uh this week actually on valentine's day on february the 14th uh oh yeah quite apt, quite apt really because uh I only assume that uh, Dan was maybe on there for, uh, I, I don't know how he found it, but on Thornton's for maybe buying some kind of Valentine's Day uh, chocolates or, or something. Who knows? But um, Thornton's.com have um, on their robot.txt uh, file have uh, dis- well basically made a kind of critical error um, and essentially uh, row, uh, basically Google crawlers uh, and crawler and that they're not crawling their site at the moment. So their site is actually crashing in real time. Uh, it hasn't been fixed. The uh, The community here on, on Twitter have been trying to reach people at Thornton's to yeah. kind of give them a heads up and say, look, you know, your, your, <laughs> your site is uh, slowly crashing uh, in, in the organic rankings and organic traffic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's it's been it's been something uh, here, and just like you know, like Dan explains here as well, is that you know the way that it's been done uh, is that it's basically it's it's telling Google not to crawl anything across their site. Um, yeah. So what's and happening? And it's very is, common. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's one of these issues that's uh, yeah, it is common. Um, Particularly after a migration, what happens is that they do it during the migration, and then they forget to like take, they forget to take it away when the fact is, I mean yeah, it's well, a bit of a yeah it's a bit of a although I don't know I mean it depends on how you do your migration I guess but I've seen it before that I really feel for whoever has done this yeah I, well I think I mean that's the, like a nightmare for anybody working in digital marketing exactly and then that, that's the thing is that I think um uh they i believe uh, from what i saw i can't find it now but there's um someone who did post um about that that thornton's actually uh had a dot co dot dot co dot uk a while back um and i think they made a migration in 2022 2023 i think and it showed how the dot co dot uk was you know went down and then obviously how the dot com has been transferred in the site migration but the dot com is is just about being reached to a point where it was actually receiving the same traffic. But now they've got this issue. But the key thing is, is why obviously the SEO community, and I thought that we could share it, is that hopefully we can maybe try to kind of increase the awareness to try and get somebody at Thornton's to actually go, oh no, like this is happening. Can we, can we try and fix it? Because, you know, we're entering 
you know, Easter's not far away. They sell chocolate, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. you know, this is this kind of mistake that can cost a company, you know, thousands, yeah. sometimes millions of pounds, uh, dollars yeah, if they're and, based in, you, the, in the US. Do you, and, and kind of connecting to the AI conversation that we just had. So one of the things that's been happening is um, companies like in journalism, in particular, using their robot TXT file to disallow um, chat GPT and, you know, like the, the chat. Uh, the the AI uh, models to learn from their content and also, you know, to to show the results on on zero click uh, searches because they want the traffic, which is completely understandable, yeah. But it's a danger because if you don't know what you're doing, do not mess with your robot TXT file yeah, as well. Yeah. And and I can just <clears throat> see this situation where you know somebody who who didn't didn't mean to do something kind of accidentally does something to the file that like yeah impacts the, the website really negatively which uh, yeah yeah it's it's a scare every time you know the sweaty monkey paw on on mailchimp that you have for emails i think <laughs> we should have something similar for the robot txt f- f- <laughs> yeah because yeah. because yeah. honestly every time you kind of go go to make changes to it it is that's how you should be feeling because it is yeah. super important yeah but i think and, and that's it i think one of the most important things here as well is that like you know of course it's like what you would call in the internet world with language like an seo fail and things like that however what i really like about the the general community is that you know everyone's pulling together to try and do the right thing and get that you yeah. know get that solved you know and, and and everyone's kind of saying like oh no like that's you know that let's try and help the person and this is why I thought that we could try and join the conversation and share this because it's like, well, you know, look, it needs to get sorted quick because like this is something that could potentially cost them a hell of a lot of money um, if it's not sorted. And you can, um, you know, I had a quick and obviously there's the screenshots here, which I've, which, you know, people have, have pasted in from their SEO tools and things. But I had a look in SEMrush and sure enough, you can see in SEMrush the same thing in terms of their visibility. It's like, it, you know, it's 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 going down and they're losing some big keywords like around chocolates and stuff. And like I said, Easter's around the corner. We just had Valentine's day and oh yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really, it's, 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 a, it's, like, it's a bad one. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, but no, I think it's really great from the, the SEO community that, you know, everybody's trying to kind of pull together to try and get in touch with Thornton. So as an appeal, anybody that's watching this, if you know anybody that works in Thornton's or works in the digital marketing uh, department at Thornton's, please yeah. let them know <laughs> that there's an issue with their website. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. that's pretty much... I, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure that somebody already looked at LinkedIn to find who's working yeah. in, the, in the department. Yeah, I think it's, I think, it's the, I think like a few people have yeah. said here is that it's been difficult to find uh, people. So, um, right. That will bring us on to room 404 for this week, Amina. Um, mm. I think we've got a great candidate here already. What? <laughs> This allow, this allowing uh, crawling yeah, just or don't mess, robot just don't, txt. Don't mess around with your robot txt yeah. file if you don't know. Oh, what we did you're forget doing. one thing. Okay, oh, okay just yeah, very that, quickly, yeah. very quickly. Google Search Console, yeah, a revamp of how it looks like, and some really, really interesting mm. new yes, kind of features. Yeah. For example, now it lets you compare. You know, you um, so. URL containing whatever it may be, for example, with another kind of URL comparing whatever it may be, which is great because you can kind of see how that might work if you are. Um, so, for example, if you are running a con- content ca- uh, content calendar for particular topics and you have two topics in the same month that are pro- that you're producing content on or the same quarter and you want to see how they kind of play against each other. You can do that now with Google Search Console, which is great. Um, no, that's great. Yeah, I have uh, the date picking and stuff is a little bit not the best now, but some really, really good changes. It's so nice to see a Google Search Console getting a bit of love as well, because I think I think it's a brilliant tool 
and it could be even better and yeah well, it's, I'm just super it's excited. free you know it's free yeah. it's the best free seo tool the best free yeah. seo tool is and google search of, console <laughs> the amount of people who don't use it in the seo industry i mean seriously yeah i once not once uh, i had interviews with people who are working in the seo industry and who are working for agencies in the seo industry at a manager level who don't know how to use console they were just not taught they just rely on like semrush uh, and and moz and which are great amazing tools but you kind of learn how to use console i mean it's yeah. just shocking yeah, well, so it's 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 actually the data from Google. You know, it's not yeah, like yeah, you exactly. know, it's not APIs. It's not like any you know, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. all these you know private companies and third party yeah, softwares. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, it's yeah. your first kind of source data really is is yeah. Powerful. And how do you know how the website <clears throat> is being crawled if you're not like yeah. this yeah. is the thing? How do you like the crawl report if if for nothing else? Then for that, I mean, yeah. it's just is yeah, it's it's mental. It's nice yeah. to see. It's nice to see it get some love um yeah. after you know because it's it's often just an afterthought isn't it i think yeah, because yeah. uh yeah. you know especially with everything else that's going on with ga4 and that how that's happened and and obviously with cookies and all yeah. the other changes that are going on and where google's focuses are it's nice to see that you know they haven't forgotten about good old google search console so webmaster um, tools oh <laughs> I still sometimes <laughs> call them webmaster tools <laughs> that's okay that's okay it's retro all right yeah, yeah. technically retro now yeah exactly um okay so room 404 um a week we can have different candidates is there anything this week that you no, that come on, propose? That, that has to go into room 404 like you know like the index uh, the you know preventing google from crawling your website using robot txt is is just crazy i mean in general i think <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, we can talk about crawling some other time, definitely. But it's an interesting yeah. topic, and how people use the robot TXT file is very interesting. So maybe for the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a great candidate, and I think you know, um, you know, I think I guess the positive from that though is that you know, like I said again, is that you know the community coming together to try and get. So I think you know, and that's the things like mistakes happen, don't they? And, and, and it's, it's about obviously learning from that, yeah. but I think it's also just getting the the correct advice and the right advice from the right people. Um, yeah. And on that note, if you do know any advice, you know, you know where to find us. So, uh, yeah. and that, at, on that note, I will uh, end it because we've done half an hour, which is one of our longest so far. Um, but it's just been so much news this week. So thank you very much, everybody. Please subscribe, please get in, uh, you know, join the conversation, join the discussion, leave a comment. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, we'll see you next week for another episode of SEOs Getting Coffee. See you later, Bye. everyone. Bye-bye.